Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, Winter and Trix. Picking up where we left off last time, where we went and finally actually dealt with Iraq over here, at least what was left by Iraq at that point. And, well, basically finished everything off there and dealt with all the province stability for all of the lands that I got, which is basically, well, everything that you can see here that isn't he heavily developed. Yeah, let's deal with all that land that I managed to gain in all those wars that I have been fighting. And it's also dealt with the rebels that popped up over here, which I also came across the other bug. Which, to simply put, sent its troops to that province right there, which was actually one of my provinces that I had occupied from Iraq I sent troops there which is about 70,000 troops in total in which at that exact same time for some reason the province goes from control of rebels to Iraq so all of a sudden those 70,000 troops I sent there to attack the rebels are now Iraq all of a sudden became Iraq's troops but thankfully, that was only about a fifth of my army I had, now that, and I, that was only a third of the army I had over here in this region. So yeah, that would mean I had two thirds of my, two fifths of my army right over there instead of down here. Where I actually needed them at that point. That's a good thing I had them over there, considering I had to deal with that bug. But right now, I will be. Sing about starting to deal with Iran so I can get rid of this ugly border here. And at that point, I think I may also go after Russia. But first, I want to see about grouping up my armies that I have spread out along here. So I'll go ahead and start that right now. Send all those troops to St. Petersburg. There we go. All those can be used against Russia when I go towards them, I think. Now. Let's see. What do I have over here exactly? 136,000 right there, 50,000 there, and that. Okay. So, group those two together right now. I'm starting, I think I'll use all these against Iran right now, at least. So. Let's go ahead and line up these troops. There we go. Got that northern border dealt with. Now let's go along this side. And now along here I'll be pitting more troops of each group since they'll actually be doing more of the fighting against Iraq. I mean Iran. Okay. That's the final group right there. So let's go back along and double up on these troops. And those troops right there can head over here. And invade from the coast. And while I'm waiting for those troops to go over there, I guess I'll also see about lining some of these troops up as well against Russia.
Well, at least I wasn't for that time. I accidentally skipped the turn. Like I have been so many other times. That's 15 more provinces I border with Russia over here. Okay. One more province there, so I'll just go ahead and recruit that by myself right there. From Warsaw and Cinderorite there to finish off that. Good. So, the only thing I don't actually have troops bordering now is that southern border with Russia. Well, that's how many provinces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think quite I easily actually get all that done. Let's see. Now there should be enough to actually get 10,000 for each one of those provinces over there. I think that's good. Right there. Okay. Done. Uh, so, since I'm over here with these troops, goodbye, Paran. Wow. Got some ass to defend against that. Actually, a bit surprised there. There we go. That's the second strongest country in quotation marks. Um, gone. Considering, well, they only had one province, they're not very strong. Only thing they have to their name was their economy. Well, I guess that was also me at the beginning of the game. I had to go against Russia. But it's kind of impossible at this point to go against me, considering how much of the map I actually control now. Which, let's see. Yeah, 81% of the map now. Great! I'm fully lined up against both of them now. Nice! So, Iran, I think it's just time for you. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Russia and Iran are both at war, but I don't really care about that in the slightest. So, 
I think I'll just start right here and move along the border. As I did when I was sending all the troops to border them. Troops can't just land right there. Wow. In that case, I'm just going to have all of them land right there instead. There we go. That's all that done for Iran. Here, split stats group. Go. Good. Still waiting for all those troops to get over here against Russia. Okay, there we go. That turn is done.
and Iraq is losing to Russia now by the looks of it. Which makes sense considering they're lo already lost over half their country. To me. That is all done. And I'll just send all those troops to this port now, considering I don't really care about them anymore. There we go. One more. There. Done. Now it's basically just to finish off Iran. Yay! Okay, no troops down there that I need to deal with. Good. Jesus, Russia, what's making it so hard for you to push back Iran at this point? Iran practically doesn't even have a country left anymore. You should even be able to easily defeat them at this point. Even with how weak you are now. Hey, the last troops are finally getting over there. I guess I'll go ahead and go towards Turkmenistan. I'll wipe them off the map. There 
we go. Russia gained one province. Wow. Congratulations, Russia. Oh, so I don't think that province actually borders Russia there. I think. So I'm ignoring it. I think I will put troops there. Once I start signing up the rest of these troops again. There we go. Let's see, Russia, do you have Iran dealt with? No, you do not. Somehow you don't. Wow. Guess six, I only lost 2,000 troops in that war with Iran. Just 2,000 troops. Russia's lost 79,000 in their war with Iran so far. Well, nice deal for me, at least. There. That is what I was waiting for. Russia to get peace with Iran, so I can easily just do this and guarantee that Iran does not come back. Unless they come back as the rebels. So now I just need to deal with the province built. Great. There we go. Now, let's see about the rest of these troops. Okay, good. Now, 10,000 in each of those for right now. And now I'll just go ahead and do another 10,000 for each. Forty thousand will go right there, and the rest of these will, and these will start signing up over here. Go ahead and put 10,000 troops there, just in case.
put 30,000 there to take Crimea quickly. And the rest of these troops will head over here. go so now it's just to wait for all those troops to line up and I will be done that's done now just for these troops to line up over here Okay, my army is larger than Russia's population, and Russia is the only country left. But that's war is going to have to be saved for the next episode, considering how long this one already is. So, next episode will be the last one for the series, for sure. And then, time lapse video on Friday. Yeah, worked out perfectly going straight through this week and I will be starting another series next week. Though I still haven't decided what I want to do for that. But if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. So yeah, I think that will be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.